Hayden 7, Callum 5, and identical twin three-year-olds Erin and Orla. With two well-behaved boys, Sarah and Stuart's life seemed perfect. But one thing was missing, a baby girl to complete their family. I was desperate for girls, just to do the whole girl thing, you get all the pink bedding and all things like that. Sarah's wish was granted, but came with an added extra. When they told me I was uh, pregnant with twins, I just went, oh, my God! <laughs> and Erin and Orla have been double trouble ever since. I was really, really pleased to hear that we are going to have twins. <laughs> they just hit out for no reason. <laughs> it's bad enough that they hit each other, but we don't want them to become bullies. Go, go. But bullies are what they've become. Sarah has so little control over the girls, she even tries restraints. No. <laughs> but she's not always quick enough. Stop, Ola! Stop, Erin! The behaviour makes me feel ashamed because people look and think, what sort of mother is she? A desperate Stuart and Sarah have called in Super Nanny. But even with her 17 years' experience taming terrors, Will she be able to get to grips with these two girls? Hello. Pleased to meet you. Jo. Hello. Straight away, Erin tries to play the oldest trick from the twin handbook. Hello. Stuart. And who do we have here? That's Erin. Hi, Erin. Ah. How old are you? Um, I'm Ola. No, you're not. Erin. You're Ola. <laughs> and with Sarah once again consumed by the housekeeping, Super Nanny gets a taste of the girls' unsisterly squabbling. or consequences for that behaviour. And I think it's important for Mum to be able to encourage the children to share and play together. It was very obvious from watching Erin and Orla, they do not do that. Hello there. Hey, come on in. First up, it's time to set the Bates family some boundaries. These are your house rules. The first one, number one, listen, listen. and do as you are told. Number two, no name calling. Mom. Number three, no hurting one another. And you all do that, Pinch. There is some. Uh, no hitting. Stuff. That don't hit. It's hurting one another. <laughs> if these boundaries are broken, then there's going to be consequence, and that consequence is going to be the naughty seat. <laughs> Super Nanny's legendary naughty seat is the cornerstone of her plan to bring the children into line. If you behave naughty and break those house rules, you will end up on this naughty seat. Naughty seat. Yes, for misbehaving. Erin's first to test the waters. Sir, no, Erin. Erin. No, because this is naughty. And Sarah steps in to warn her that the behaviour is unacceptable. You don't hurt Orla. No! Are you going to say sorry? No. But as it continues, Sarah's left with no option. No! Right, you can go on the naughty seat. No talking. The children will spend a minute on the naughty seat for every year of their age. You sit there for three minutes. No, no, no. Come down and explain You're gonna why she's been placed on that naughty seat. I want to hear this tone of voice. You're not happy with what she's just done. She's just pinched and hurt her sister. You are on this naughty seat because you did not listen to Mummy. And you pinched your sister, and that's naughty behaviour. Mm. Now you stay here for three minutes. Okay. Did you hear that voice? Yeah. Right, that's it. That we get. Let's so walk away. You're not happy, and you're not tolerating this anymore, okay? Mummy! Mummy! Stern words do the job, and Erin stays on the seat. But putting Sarah at ease will be harder. So it's the get down on their level and tell them not to do it. 
And then... Uh, um, and if they continue... And if they continue... Straight there. Straight there, then. Right. She's anxious to perfect the naughty seat first time. Are you going to come and say sorry to Orla? No, 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 no. You're doing it wrong. You're doing this all wrong. Did she say she was sorry to you for behaving that way? No, she didn't. Right, OK, so we've done the step... We've done the naughty seat wrong, then. We'll have to go through this again. OK, three minutes. You come back. You tell them, I want an apology. You need to write that down. Yes, I think then so. Then we'll do that tonight. Right. Because, trust me, you've got it up here, you take that anywhere. I mean, anywhere. I feel a bit apprehensive at the moment, uh, only because um, I don't want to do it wrong. I'm going to have to write it and say it before I get up. It's going to be my new mantra, I think. 